Okay, we are at Palace 1. Oh shoot, this is the music! This is Hyrule Temple music. Is this an elevator? It's an effing elevator. Do do do! Oh shoot, I don't like that. Okay, they've got- they've just got the one pip. I need a key. How, uh... How do I use magic? I thought it was Y. And I have full magic, but it's not working. Rat Knights. Who do they think they are? Okay, there we go. How long does that last? Is that a limited thing? Seems like it's probably based on time. If it's by room, that's nice. Oh shoot, he's got a shield. Shoot! Link 2. Oh, but we just started right here. That's nice. That's good to know. Alright, well what if we just tell the Stalthos to F himself and keep walking? That seems to work pretty well. Oh, until now. Oh, that still worked. Oh, good, good range. I can just, I gotta respect that. Just trying to get a little experience in a cruel world, but all right, well played. Oh, now they're coming this way. Oh, the elevator threw me off. Okay, so how do life's lives work? Will I just have to start the entire game over if I run out, or like, start from the beginning of the dungeon. Does that thing die? It seems like it's not dying. I can stun it, but it does not die. This is basically a rhythm game when you think about it. Ow. I ain't got rhythm. Nice. Oh, he gave a lot out. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. It is weird that there's just elevators here, like Metroid-style elevators. I'm not sure what to think about that. I don't know what to think about that dragon statue either. Apparently nothing. I'm supposed to think nothing. Oh, I'm glad I came this way. Man, the sword beam's helpful. Dang it. F is this Bowser enemy doing here? Aha! Gotcha. I'm about to die, but I gotcha. And that, the, the rat man killed me. Shoot. 
Ganon has returned. Wait, since when? Why has Ganon returned? Okay, we kept our upgrades. I'm curious to see if we kept our keys. Probably not, but... Wait, did we keep our upgrades? I don't know. I don't even know anymore, man. Yes, because it says 150 to the next level. That's good. That, that is good to know. That is an acceptable consequence of Game Over. It's such an old-fashioned game that I was worried I would literally have to start the entire thing over. Um, but, uh, no. We're good. I can live with that. Oh, it's a cute little pill bug thing. Um, okay, so I might be speaking too soon, because everyone says this is the hardest game, but I'm enjoying this game's gameplay a lot more than the first one already. I don't know what to make of that guy, though. I don't like that guy. Not my favorite. Okay, apparently I shielded that one somehow. Not sure how. Is there any way to see how many keys I have? I have two keys. That is the answer to that question. Good to know. This is one of those scenarios where I kind of hope all the dungeons have this music, because this music is so awesome. see what this does. One of these statues is going to come to life one day. Shoot, buddy. That ain't fair. We're going to launch ourselves. Oh, that one's not. Nice try. Oh, that one just straight up killed me. This is also a Bowser. Holy crap! Oh, that's not fair. Oh, that's not fair. It's like the Iron Knuckle. How do you defeat an enemy that walks back and forth? Dang it. We got Hammer Bros in the house. That's, that's what's happening here. Maybe just give up on him if you can't back him into a corner. Yes, you've returned, Ganon. Again, not sure where in the plot it's said that Link dying leads to the return of Ganon. Pretty sure the only plot it gave us was to wake up Zelda, we need to defeat all the palaces. Regardless, apparently Ganon returns when Link dies. I guess maybe because he gives up the Triforce and the Triforce returns to... I don't know, man. I killed Ganon pretty hard, but apparently it wasn't good enough. Alright, I might do some grinding at some point, because, uh... I could use some upgrades. Man, this music freaking rocks. 
I haven't seen any enemies drop hearts yet. That's interesting. Almost messed that one up. Oh shoot, you got you got into my rhythm. Try it down one more time. Shoot! Shoot! These things are dangerous. Oh, I could I can just get that. It's good to know. Ow. See you later, effort. Oh shoot. Is that an Iron Knuckle? At least the Iron Knuckle has gameplay this time. Moves his shield up and down. Not sure how he's blocking all these, but okay. No, I can't. I don't want both of you. What is this Dark Souls fight happening here? Okay. Okay, I didn't expect that. I expected to uh, kill the Cyclops at some point before the Dark Knight, uh, or Iron Knuckle, or whatever it is, came, came a tapping, but. Good fight. Good fight there. What else I like about the... Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, he was owning me there. Um, you know what else I like about the village people being nice in this game? It makes me feel like this world is worth saving. Again, very unlike Zelda 1. Where are these fireballs coming from? If there was some indication given, I would be fine with them, but the fact that they literally just appear out of nowhere makes me upset. Probably be using my magic when I get into a tough fight that I know is coming. Nah. I also have to be careful and make sure I actually get a candle this time. Because apparently in these old Zelda games, you just get through the dungeon without picking up the item that becomes crucial later on. Later on. So hopefully this isn't the boss I'm going toward. Maybe the Dark Knight isn't the boss. I doubt it, because the last game seemed to think you could throw seven of them at once and you would just be able to handle it, so F you, buddy. Oh, there's no pouch there anymore. I just missed... Uh, that's gone forever now. Good. Just 
F me right up, buddy. Maybe you can only be hurt by the sword directly. Going back and forth, just nid hog it. All right, that seemed to go pretty well. Yeah, candle. How do I? Oh, I forgot I have an instruction manual. Because it's an old GameCube game where those actually happened. I'm gonna pull up the menu here so I, no one attacks me. There's also a control screen when I first boot it up, but I can't remember all of it. Zelda 2. After Gan was destroyed, Impa, Princess Zelda's nursemaid, told Link to sleep himself in Castle Mill and leave the tribe of third Triforce could wake him. From with six crystals and an ancient scroll. Oh, I'm not armed with the six crystals. I'm supposed to find them, aren't I? Or I'm supposed to return them? Yeah, I have those six crystals in my inventory, I see, and I have to return them. Uh, and an ancient scroll, which I don't actually see, unless that's what that first one is, but I don't know how to read it. Link embarked on his most challenging quest yet. Apparently the manual doesn't think adventuresome is a word. Unaware that evil forces were hunting him in the hopes of sacrificing Link and using his blood to revive the evil Ganon. See, I feel like that's pretty important plot information. Regardless, um, B button is to use flute. Spoiler, there's a flute in this game. Maybe the candle just affects gameplay. Maybe there is no use for it. Which is fine. If it gets me through uh, dungeons, then I'll take it. I mean caves. Dang it, I keep mixing words up. Okay, so yeah, that the magic buff goes away in between screens. That makes sense, that's fair. Oh, I'm pretty close to my next level, I should kill these guys. you, buddy. Oh, but good goodbye. Oh, are you serious? He's still up there? Have that. Bingo. Yeah, let's make that life go up, please. I'll take it. Oh, wait, is that... Is that adding to health or overall lives I have in between game overs? Those are both very helpful, but it's kind of hard to tell. It says life equals three. I guess we'll see if that goes down when I die. Yeah, I'll get to you later. See, I died last time I went up, but I forget what it actually was. I know I didn't, it was a key. I got a key from up here. Do -do -do. Oh shoot, not you again. Okay, so he does not... I don't know if there's a pattern to his madness, or if he's just happening to luck out quite a bit, but... A little magic couldn't hurt, right? Especially if he gives me that.
The rare case where high, the high ground is a serious disadvantage. Shoot. I've never been good at Hammer Bros. It's clear I'm not very good with these guys either. Crap. Okay, no, so... That is health that it increased, not a... Uh... Lives. Alright, well we've unlocked a lot of stuff, and we got our candle. So now we know exactly where we need to go, we don't have to explore the rest of the dungeon. We're making progress, despite the fact that we're losing progress. Overall, we're still making more progress than we're losing. You know what I'm saying? Yay, we can see things now. Sorry, bud. Also, for real, aside from the cave, uh, aside from, hey, you do need to go through this cave even though you can't see anything, there's no, like, so far there hasn't been any unfair things that the game is expecting me to just know. It's pretty straightforward. Explore until you find the thing, but it's not like, hey, bomb random walls until you find the right thing. Although that didn't really come into late game until the, uh, one, so... Again, I'm probably speaking too soon. Regardless, I'm having much more fun in this first hour or two of gameplay than I was in Zelda 1, so that's a good sign. I forget you can stun those skulls. That's, that's good to keep in mind. Stop, good juke, nice done. I am dead, I am literally dead right now, but that's fine. And since I am dead, I might as well- oh crap, he respawns. even mean? It didn't go down when I used it, so it's clearly not about that. Seems tougher this time around. Especially because he killed me even with my magic spell. It's a good indication that he's, he's stronger. it here. It seems like he's randomizing it too, but again, he's getting pretty lucky. That wasn't so bad.
Should I magic it? I don't know if there's another screen between him and the boss, or if this is Mario style where I have a lot of magic left, I might as well. Oh, not that much magic. Why, there's no, why is there no health? I'd like health. Crap. Okay, two Turk Nuts and a Hammer Bro. That's a tough little gauntlet. Something told me it's not the actual boss. Well, I'm not sure how they would handle bosses in a 2D scroller like this. I know Dark Link is in this game, spoiler. Um, so, like, they have to do some sort of boss, but I don't know how it's going to be formatted. Because most of Zelda's bosses, like, 3D is a pretty central mechanic to it. And I'm sure they can adapt. Like, I'm not saying there are no bosses. I'm just curious as to what it's going to look like. No, oh, nice. I still have my sword beam here. Oh, right, I should remember there's a ferry right past the second elevator. I skipped that last time. Ah, come on. Is 24 the amount of magic that it uses? Because that's how it counts that? That's no good. Seems to catch on very quickly. Also, there's certainly no need to charge, because he's doing much of the charging himself. Good to keep in mind. Whoo-wee, okay. He's a tough one. like to drop health, Mr. Skeleton, that would be nice. Well, it's good to know I'm... I have another life, so I'll get to go into the next thing with full health. Let's see how far we can go, huh? Not that far. Not very far at all. Okay, full health, we can take a... Freaking hammer bro and a dark knuckle. I get dark nuts and iron knuckles confused. Are they different? And how much? 
What's the deciding factor on that one? I don't want to draw the iron knuckle into this. It's about to show up. Oh, nice. Y yes, attack go up, please. Does that mean twice as much? Or just, like, slightly more up? I'm happy with the second one, but I'd prefer the first. Guess we'll see how long it takes me to kill this guy. Come on! How is he... Because, like, I tried the Girahim thing of... Hold your sword in the same place and then switch at the last second, and that didn't seem to be the trick. But, like, randomizing clearly isn't doing the job either. So, like, I'm, I'm and, and, like, just attacking the same place over and over until he drops it. Doesn't work either. So, like, I guess I should try the Girahim strategy a little bit more, but... That didn't seem to be the solution, if there is one. And I doubt I can hit him from the back. I imagine his sprite just turns around as soon as you do that, so... Not quite sure what to make of these guys, but... Hey, we've got double damage, so... I'll take it. I don't know if it's double damage. I shouldn't just say that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't just say lies. A lot of enemies are not susceptible to the sword beam, which is a little disappointing. Okay, it took three hits, so not, and it took four hits before. So not double, but still, upgraded damage is good. Uh, I shouldn't be spending this long on that guy, but I'm not too worried about it. Because I got a fairy right over here. I guess once I get more spells, I'll have to select them for every screen, and that's why I have to bring up the screen every time. And I do bet 24 means that's the amount it takes, but still, it's kind of a weird way of... kind of tried the Gearium strategy. I didn't go all in on it, but I had it in mind. Can I jump over him? I might as well give it a shot. Oh shoot, the other dude stays dead. That's good to know. Also, he seemed to adapt very well to me trying to jump over him, so I'm not going to try that again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, please, no more enemies in this room, please. Alright. Did I- was that the boss? No, this seems like a boss. Bojack Horseman here over here. Yeah, that was pretty- that was pretty quick death. We are gonna use that magic, thank you very much. He even has a health bar at the ready. Dang it, I should've... <laughs> if I had committed to the, to the... Actually, no, I had one more swing I had to do. I think the trick is jump and then back off as you're swinging. Um, but if you go all in on the last swing, it would presumably kill him before he gets his swing in, so... It wouldn't have worked because I still needed to hit him one last time before I could do that, but... If you go all out on your final swing, you don't need to worry about the pullback.